Louisiana's Zach Richardson is likely to become a three-time academic All-State honoree after this fall. But his accomplishments and his progress running the option have been a bit muted by his team's struggles. That's something the Bulldogs are itching to change. Get out there, I get to kind of run the show, you know. I'm kind of the boss man out there, so try to, try to find the things that's going to help us out. He gives us a lot of starting points to run the option. He gives us a lot of diversity, too. He's starting to understand coverages, and when, when we throw the ball, I want to get the ball in these guys' hands. They're very athletic. Get the ball in their hands, let them go run. Zach's great at it. He can run the option very well. So we'll bring a few surprises with us. Well, you touched on that, too. I mean, when you're running the option, you, you have to have a good quarterback. And, yeah. And he can pretty much do it all, can't he? Oh, yes, he can do it all. He reads it very well. Reads it a lot better than last year. I think he's doing really good. And in this, now year number three of the Greg Purdom coaching era, the Bulldogs senior quarterback should enjoy a much broader canvas on which to paint. One of the coaches told me last year that that was the first time he'd been here eight years they'd run the same offense two years in a row. So being able to build on top of what we've been doing, this is the third year now, it makes a huge, huge difference for the kids and productivity. I mean, we, the first couple of years we were still learning the offense and then our linemen are getting it down. We're figuring stuff out, the backfield, learn my, learn my steps, right angles, and everything is becoming a whole lot easier to read, make the reads, see the, see the gaps. And the palette of talent options around him is more diverse as well, both in terms of alternative rushing threats like Lane Rule and Gabe Henderson. We have some tough backs, like you said, Gabe and Lane. They're both great runners, got a lot of speed, a lot of strength, and our receivers are coming around, learning the routes, catching the ball, or looking pretty good. We went to 7-on-7 seven seven this year and ran some, ran some new play, different plays, and it looked good. But also, it speaks as well to the level of protection he'll now enjoy up front. We have younger guys, but they're stepping up and they're really getting their keys down, and I have full faith in them. Starting to see a lot of gains. They're starting to make their calls and, man, and understand what's and why's and everything. So, you know, to me, it's all built around the offensive line. Everything kind of grow, grows off of that. You know, then we're, we're having to teach little things like uh, the running backs how to follow their blocks. and. You know, the angle of the quarterback on the option and things like that. And for them to be able to see it, understand it, and change it on the fly has been a huge, huge plus already. Granted, there's still plenty of progress that needs to be made on defense, and the Clarence Cannon Conference remains as unforgiving as ever. But if the Bulldogs can just get to districts with a little bit of wind in their sails. Again, the Clarence Cannon Conference is loaded, but if you can get to district, you've got a chance to have some fun. I mean, that's a nice carrot at the end of the stick. Well, it is, and our biggest thing is, like I said, numbers keeping people uh, healthy and being able to get to that point because it is a brutal conference and, and it is what it is. I mean, we're going to have to deal with it as it is, but uh, being able to keep people healthy is going to be the key. Quincy J.